What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Tuesday morning episode of the Daily Juice Podcast. My name is Matt Peralta. You guys can follow me across all socials at Sports Talk Matt. And this podcast is being brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com. Promo code Juice. Go shop all the Father's Day awesome packages available right now at OmahaSteaks.com. Promo code Juice at checkout with their 100% money back guarantee at OmahaSteaks.com. All right. I do not know like what time it is. It's like 11 o'clock Pacific time, so it's 2 a.m. Eastern, and I am just like, I had a six-hour flight, and I'm all over the place. So, going to give you the picks pretty quickly here. We'll get back on track tomorrow. Clearly, I'm back here in Vegas, back in the home studio. So, uh, great trip, really fun weekend. Hope you guys had a great Memorial Day weekend and celebrated. And, and I didn't say it last night, but I should have said it. But thank you to everybody who has served in this country, and in particular to those who have lost their lives protecting us and making us making me be able to do this which is talk every day with you guys on the daily juice podcast so two and two yesterday we get uh all in one on the full unit plays for for baseball sorry for basketball one and oh for the baseball game got the reds right split on the player prop so two and two flat starts of the week so let's go here again and let's talk baseball two player props, and an NBA pick. Okay, so for tonight, these are some interesting storylines. Now, I'm not saying you bet narratives, okay? And betting narratives oftentimes is stupid. But here's a question. Do you think the NBA is comfortable going from, which is nuts, right? Going from May 28th all the way to June 6th. June 6th is the first game of the NBA Finals. Now, the NBA Finals gets booked out. It's like a, te- it's a television show, okay? It's not actually like a series. It's a TV show. Big for the ratings for ABC stations around the country and big for ESPN. June 6th would be the next time we would see basketball. Now, tomorrow is, or today is June 20th, is May 28th. That's a long time. That's over a week between NBA basketball games. I'm not saying you bet the game just based on that, but the Timberwolves were close in a lot of these games. They fell apart late in a lot of these games. They look a lot like the Pacers. Just can't close games out, make mistakes, bad turnovers. I think the money line's a good shot here. Game four, Timberwolves to win the game, plus 110, one unit. On Minnesota to avoid being swept and to give us at least one more basketball game before the Eastern Conference Finals. And maybe even they go back home to Minnesota to win game five, we go to a six-game series. Very possible. Plus 110. Money line, T-Wolves for one unit. Two player props. Nas Reed's been great for us. Nas Reed over 18 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. We're going right back to that bet for a half a unit at minus 113 at FanDuel. Right back into there. It's been very profitable for us. Nas Reed of the Timberwolves over 18 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. And the second player prop that we're going to come in with here, we're going to jump on Rudy Gobert over 11 and a half points. Rudy Gobert has hit this number in four of his last five in six or five of his last seven games played over 11 and a half. I think we're going to see a lot of offense here from Minnesota misses offensive rebounds in a, in a game where you must have, you know, must win to stay alive. I'm going to expect the role players to really step up and go above and beyond. I do lead towards the over in this game. Okay. At two ten and a half. I think that it's, it's a good play to jump in on it. I just don't trust it after missing yesterday because of a closeout game. If, the Mavericks do win. It could go under. And I don't want to go 0-2 on that. So while I do lean towards the under of 210, or sorry, of over, sorry, excuse me, not under, over of 210, because we every game in this series has gone over, like we've talked about all series long. 207 over by 6, 207 over by 10, 207 and a half over by 15 and a half. It just keeps on going over. I, I do think it's a decent bet to jump in on the over here, over 210, but I just don't know what to make of it. We did come back and I gave you the Celtics minus two yesterday live. Again, 
it's over 210. If we get off to you know a really fast start and we have a 220, 225, 10 to 15 point middle, go ahead and bet the under. We've middled these games a lot. I gave you the in-game play of Boston minus two. They won the game by three. So we've done a good job with in-game betting here on the Daily Juice. If you're not part of the Discord channel, bettingpros.com slash chat is the website to type in to get the invite to join the Discord channel. Daily Juice in our Discord is where I hang out and post the picks and live bets. We've made some money. Four straight live bets of cash for us there on the Daily Juice on the Discord channel for betting pros. Rudy Gobert over 11 and a half for plus 102. It's plus money. So we'll take a shot at it for half a unit with Rudy Gobert over 11 and a half points. Okay. So Nas Reed over 18 and a half points, rebounds, assists. Rudy Gobert over 11 and a half points at plus 102. T- Timberwolves money line at plus 110 for one unit. And the one baseball bet we're going to jump in here is the Braves and the Nats. Max Freed. Before his start on the road at Chicago, a 9-2 win. He went nine innings, complete game, one earned run. He was great, but the game went over because of the offense for the Braves. Before that, though, 3-1, 4-1, 5-1, 2-1, 5-0. Going all the way back to the 17th of April, Max Fried had five straight starts at which the under 8.5 came in. Max Fried is against the Nationals, a team with not a great lineup. And Jake Irvin equally has been a guy he can't win to save his life, okay? This guy is just like snape bitten. Four straight losses. But every one one of those losses has gone under eight and a half. 6-3, 4-2, 4-2, 3-2. Not his fault, really, over the last four starts. Zero, or go back to the last five starts. Zero, uh, two, zero, two, four, and two earned runs, Okay. Jake Irvin's having, having, having a pretty good year. The Braves' offense has not been tremendous of late. They've been an under team this season. We're going under 8.5 here at minus 110. Under 8.5 for the Braves and the Nationals. Under 8.5 for 1.1 units. All right, so three bets in basketball, one bet in baseball. I've been staying away from hockey because I just haven't done well in hockey, and it's just, it's a, we'll get to it during the cup finals. We'll bet some hockey, but. I don't love the hockey numbers at the moment. It's pretty much of a coin flip with what's been going on there. Gobert over 11.5 for half a unit. Nas Reed over 18.5 to win a half a unit. Timberwolves money line at plus 110 and under 8.5 for the Braves and the Nats. My name is Matt Peralta. Follow me across all socials at Sports Talk Matt every morning. Dale Juice Podcast always being brought to you by OmahaStakes.com.